Christmas. Uh, I told Santa this year that I want you for Christmas. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 That's what I told him. You're four, four years. You look 25 to me. Okay. I'm 21, so I mean, we can always grab a. Yeah, I just turned. And we can grab a drink, you know what I mean? Really? Did someone just tell you you're kind of like hungry or something? No, I just thought you were beautiful. Wow. That's. Come on, baby. You gotta have more confidence than that. Really? What's, what's wrong with my glasses? You don't like them? No, I'm saying that you cannot see very well. I feel like I'm stunning in front of my head. It's a cool video, but like I'm a little sad that she feel that way about herself. Like she low key just called herself ugly, and to me she's not ugly. Do you remember that? I got your nose. That's funny. Cause I got your dad. Bro. I don't even know what to say, bro. Nah, that's not cool. But that fool's scoping. But he's scoping. But he looking. He looking like... They about to steal next? something. Who you gonna get next, bro? They about to break in somebody's car. Look at it. Look at it. Look at her. Look at her. Damn, look at her. Damn. 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 They don't know what they doing. They don't know what they doing. Hey, they don't know what they doing. Hey. Damn, they don't know what they doing. If there's one thing I can tell you guys is I hate a thief. I know back in the day they had an eye for an eye. If you stole something, they'd cut your fingers off or they'll chop your hand off. And I'm not going to lie, man. They need to bring that back. <laughs> It sounds so extreme, but imagine you just go out having fun, and then you come back and your, sh your car is gone. Or somebody broke your windshield, took something out your car. In this particular situation, they took somebody's luggage. I hate a thief, dog. I've been living in Atlanta since 2007. I remember it was a point in time where you could have went out and didn't have to worry about stuff like this. Now, I'm not saying that cars weren't getting stolen. Cars were getting stolen, but it wasn't as bad as how it is now. I didn't even know that you could take a spark plug and just tap it on the windshield and it'll break. I didn't even know that. That's what this person just did. They have a spark plug, they tap it on the windshield and the glasses just shatter. Get a f***ing job! Even with the f***ing Challenger, bro. The, the Dodges, the, the Chargers and the Challengers. The Hellcats and all them shits, bro. I love my car, but god damn. Every time I drive outside, my head gotta be on a swivel. I went to, to Chipotle the other day. It's some, some young motherfuckers sitting in front of um in front of Whole Foods. Looking at me like a fucking victim. Dodge have young black men in a chokehold. And this, this might be a situation of the pot calling the kettle black. Because I really do love my car. But the difference is I went and paid for my shit. You can't have nothing nice. Hey, I saw you get beat up by that homeless guy though. What's up with that? What you mean? What's up with that? That guy blew you out or what? He blew you? What? He blew you? No, no. Oh, this guy blew you? No. Or he just be um, young lady. Young lady. Pause. Pause. We not gonna condone none of that. He blew you. Hmm. Beat you up. He beat you up and he blew you? What? Yeah. She cute. She backed his ass all the way down, though. Come on, my boy. Come on, my boy. You gotta do better. You can't let her back you down like that. You gotta stand your ground, dog. Have a closet in my classroom, and I would have the kids one at a time go into the into the closet, and then they would come out and share with the class what their sexual orientation is. So of course we would celebrate, and I would give the kids that identify as two S L G B T Q I A plus a cupcake, a rainbow cupcake. The kids that came out and said they were straight, I didn't give them anything because they're just contributing to a heteronormative society.
can't even jump rope with my eye. Bro! 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 I. Bro! I know! I know! I know she ain't in school coming for the kids. I know she ain't in school coming for the kids. I think that's something we all worry about when we send our kids to school. You don't know what personal agenda the teacher may have. Now, I want to say that when I was growing up, things weren't like this. And a lot of the teachers we had, for the most part, were great. Great. Like, I attribute some of my success to the teachers that I've had. I'm going to be honest with you. They had a lot of positive influence on my life and a lot of the kids that I went to school with, their lives as well. It's a lot of successful adults right now that I went to school with. Some are in government. Uh, like I said, my boy, he's in IT. My other homeboy, he's in the Navy. He's like a high ranking officer in the Navy. You got my wife. My wife used to be a microbiologist at the CDC. Then she stopped doing that to open her own business. But again, I attribute that to, we had really good teachers at the high school I went to. My son going to school now, I am worried. I'm not going to lie to you. I am worried because I can have all these values for my son and I could tell him, hey, this is right, this is wrong. You know, I can try to shelter him from certain things. I'm going to be honest with you. There's only so much sheltering you can do because he has to go out into the world where he could be influenced by other people's thoughts. Why does she have a closet in her classroom? Why is that even a thing? You know what? What what grade it does she teach? What grade does she teach? If this is seniors in high school, then I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it's as I don't think it's as bad. Even though, you know, I don't think you should be doing this type of things in school. But if it's seniors in high school, then you you damn near adults. But now if this is like sixth and seventh graders, fourth graders, now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. Your sexual orientation is not that important, okay? Whatever you do in the bedroom is none of our business. Whatever I do in the bedroom is none of your business. Whoever you sleep with or whoever you whoever you choose to sleep with is none of my business. A lot of times we don't we don't care. Like my personal thing is if you have a problem with somebody being gay, then you hiding something. That's honestly how I feel. If you have a problem with somebody being gay, you hiding something. But as far as the kids are concerned, let my son choose. Let the kids have a choice in the matter. Do not influence them. She's in she's in her class influencing kids to be to say that they're gay. Because if they come out and they say they're not, then it's like, oh well, okay, you're nothing special. You don't see how that could have a, a psychological effect on the kids, like. Is it cheating if a man asks for my Instagram? Yes. And I give it. Yes. Yes, it's cheating. Yes. It's cheating. Yes. Is it cheating? Yes, it's cheating. Let me explain to you why. Usually, a dude won't ask you for your number, and usually, when you're single, what do you do? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't like giving my number out. I'll give you my Instagram. You want to know how I know? I asked you for your number, and you gave me your Snapchat. And now we're married with two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Is it cheating if I downloaded a dating app, but I'm not doing anything on there? What you need a dating app for? We're Go married, on, and you have a dating app? Huh? What you, what you, huh? You're asking the questions. These are hypotheticals. Hypothetically, yes, you are cheating. Okay, on to the next. If That's a man cheating. compliments me, like, 
Hey, you look beautiful, baby. And I blush and I say thank you. You're so what sweet. What's up with these dumb questions? <laughs> That's cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> so uh, uh, let's rephrase it. If a guy just says you look beautiful and I say thank you, is it cheating? And you just say thank you? Yes. No, because you're beautiful. Is it cheating? Tell you something. The Instagram... That's cheating. That's cheating. I have seen dudes break down the barriers through Instagram. Planting seeds through Instagram. Maybe I have planting seeds through Instagram. I've seen some of my, my wife's, some of these messages that my wife got have been getting on Instagram. I'm not going to lie, boy. Some of y'all, some of y'all, oh my God. Grand Rising. My African Nubian queen. Like, bitch ass, you know you wouldn't even talk like that. Y'all know my wife be on this. She, she be burning Polo Santos too. She a, she a tree hugger. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's, that's where I got the idea of burning Polo Santos from. Because my wife is a tree hugger. So, she be on this speaking all, all this uh, ancestors and all that stuff. And dudes will sit there and look at, look at them videos and... Grand Rising. Y'all make me sick, dog. <laughs> Y'all make me sick. Second thing, the day, the compliments too, bro. Ladies, you got to be careful when men give y'all compliments. You feel me? Like, it's a way you can say thank you, but it got to be a, a, it got to be cut short after that. Like, oh, thank you and keep it pushing because you're beautiful and all that. Those are openers. Those are openers. Niggas is trying to see if they can open them doors. They looking for an opening. Okay? You have to police the... P you are the police. You security. Bitch, that, that is Joe Biden and, and, and you the Secret Service. So you got you to gotta make sure that... The way you respond, you know, the way you 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 interact with other men, you have to set a clear boundary. You got to set a clear boundary because, let me tell you something. These dudes don't care about me. They don't care about you. They just care about your They don't care about our little relationship. They don't care about our son. They don't care about our kids. They don't care about how long we've been together. They don't give a fuck about our fairy tale relationship. Understand that. 